What's up, peeps? My vapes here. Today I have a 24 millimeter RDA to show you guys. And this one right here was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Damsel Fly. It is the Poison RDA. I really hope I don't get poisoned from using this RDA. Yeah, anyway, let's do a quick dive down. I will show you guys the RDA, the ins and outs. We'll come back, vape on it, and I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Poison RDA. Steve? All right, thank and you. here's the packaging. The Poison RDA by Damselfly comes in. Inside the packaging, you get a tri-tool, extra O-rings, post screws, squonk pin, and you also get this A10 drip tip. And here is the Poison RDA. So start off from the bottom. Damselfly Poison, designed by Damselfly. Gold-plated 510 protrudes out more than enough for your hybrid connection. We do have A10 drip tip on top. Not the greatest drip tip. I've noticed this does... It like it's hard for it to sit in place good. It always pops up. I've used other eight tens in here and actually works out better with other eight tens instead of the one that they include. We have our AFC control ring over here on top. It's got some knurling. We have a little stopper here that basically keeps the build deck in place with the top cap, sort of like the drop, the way the drop RDA was done. Here's the top. You can see the airflow control fully open. If I turn it this way. I could do it just with, as you can see there, three dots. We'll keep on turning it. Open up just the bottom, then the next one, and then the top. Then all of them closed off. And back to those three little dots. The RDA is going to come in three different colors. We're going to have this one here. They're stainless steel, which is like a bead blasted stainless steel. They're rainbow and they're matte black. Here's a look at the inside of the airflow control ring. All right, so we got gold-plated build deck. And looking at the gold, uh, I don't like the way they did the gold plating on here. That, why not just make it stainless steel? The gold plating on here looks like it's going to be one of those that's going to eventually start chipping off there. We do have double O-ring. Right? There's our juice well. Now, our coils are going to go here, and your cotton is going to be placed here. But then there's a deeper part here. Kind of makes no sense, the build deck, the way this was designed. But the build deck does look like the drop and dead rabbit combined. Because it looks like you got the dead rabbit ears, but it's drop in style. Or something like that, right? That's what it looks like to me. So it's using flathead screws. You can see there. All right, and it looks like your coils are going to be fairly high in this one because of the way the airflow controller is. See, if I put the airflow control there, you could see it. Just so you could be lined up with that top airflow, you're going to have to put them coils pretty high up. So as you can see, I do have the first coil in place. Now, there's two ways of doing it. I mean, you could try and drop them down to cut them, but it's not going to work out if you have long coil length. So what I'll do here is I'll just going to take some off. You know, just going to clip it right there and just clip it right there. All right. Now I'll grab the coil. Just put it right inside. Give it a little bit of a lift. And just tighten it just like that. And I'm just going to check and see if I have the right height. As you can see there. So I'm just going to lift it up just a little bit more so it matches that. And there you go. Got both coils in place. I'm just going to set them up, fix them so this way they look even. So now I could just grab my wire cutters and get inside there and clip. Which I don't like doing this this way. I'd rather just pre-cut them and put them in. Because God forbid you have a piece of your coil, piece of that lead inside the build deck, it will short out on you. So make sure you do that and get all them little pieces out of there. There you go. We got the cotton all situated. Let's give it a light comb out on both sides. All right. Got that combed out. We'll grab our scissors. Remove those fluffies out of the way. Or the fuzzies, right? Is that what we call it? We call it fuzzies. There we go. 
got the fuzzies out of the way, grab our tweezers. We'll just place that cotton right inside the build deck. Just swoop it all around. See that? Just like that. Do the same thing on this side. All right, got it on the Boxer 21700. We'll get it nice and lubed up. Throw some liquid on there. Get some liquid everywhere. Throw some down the center. Just like that. Let that saturate. And now that it's all saturated, we'll grab our top cap. Slip that on. Get it right inside that little notch there. And we are ready to vape. Let's go back up on top. Let's vape on it. And I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it. The up close. Poison RDA by Damsel Fly. Mike, your thoughts. Cons. First con is going to have to be that drip tip that's on there. Is Look at it. See the way it's popping out? It's garbage. It's a garbage drip tip. We'll get rid of that. We'll throw on this drip tip here. This is a heavy drip tip. And check that out. So you guys can see. I'm trying to get that drip tip in there. And I cannot get that drip tip in there. And that's an A10 drip tip. That's going to be a con. There you go. Threw on a different drip tip. And that one fit. So yeah, a lot of A10s fit. I went through a lot of them to see. And it was just that one. That one drip tip. The one that I really wanted to use on this RDA did not fit. Weird, that's an A10 drip tip. So anyway, the drip tip that they provide, I don't like it. I think it's just a stupid drip tip. It's going to be a con. Another con with the RDA is going to be that uh, they copied basically another RDA. That's what they did with this. It's drop dead rabbitish. Plain and simple, that's what it comes down to. In my opinion, that's a con. All right, a lot of people are going to disagree, whatever, whatever. The difference between them is basically the airflow, the airflow system that's on here. Now, I have the airflow set up. Oh, more cons? No 510 drip tip. They really don't give you much inside there. The package was like just some O-rings, post screws, and a squonk pin. And that's it. And that one spare drip tip, which I do not like those drip tips. They even copied that drip tip too because the drop came with a similar drip tip. That same style with it. So very weird. The RDA itself, um, I don't know. There's something about this whole dams, damsel fly that's screaming Tiger Tech to me. Not sure. I could be wrong, but this might be Tiger Tech's new company. I cannot confirm that. I'm just like guessing. I'm not sure. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Anyway, all that aside, and if I do find out it's Tiger Tech, <laughs> this company will go on blast. But anyway, the RDA. Like I said, it's a copy of those two RDAs. The airflow. Let's talk about the airflow flavor and so forth. Now, the airflow on this, I've been enjoying using the three dots that it has. I think that's just an awesome airflow on it. You guys can hear it. Very nice, flavorful vape. Now, if I take the airflow and I do it fully, is that fully open? I can't see it. Yes, fully open. Way, way too much airflow in my opinion. It's like you you could breathe through this. And it's on the loud side. Cut the airflow, the top part down, and just have the, the, uh, the two bottom ones open. Better vape. But still airy. And both ways, having the top open and the top shut off, it's got that almost I want a whistle sound. Yeah, for me, the best airflow option on this is right there. Those three dots, having those lined up, it's a beautiful airflow. That's the way I've been rocking this RDA. Now, the build deck, the way it's set up to put your cotton, it's like, it's weird. It's a lot a capillary reaction going on with this and I could see using it it quite doesn't want to keep up it keeps up but yeah you gotta just keep you gotta keep throwing liquid in there squonking on this thing has been a breeze no issues with squonking when you're dripping inside it and make sure you got liquid inside here and make sure it's actually doing that capillary reaction now the way the juice well is set up the juice well is actually the carve outs are on the opposite side of where your cotton goes so it's like, what do you got to like swing your cotton underneath? 
is this just turns out to be a lot of cotton that you're putting inside here. And once the O-rings get juiced up and you're using this, the top cap comes off very easily. So the top cap tension on here is not the greatest. Flavor rating for this RDA, I'd have to give it probably like a 7.5 to 8, somewhere around there. All in all, it's not a bad RDA considering the price. If you're on a budget, let me put it this way. If you have a drop, there's no reason to get this RDA. You have a dead rabbit, I don't really see a reason to get this RDA. If you don't have either one of those and you're on a tight budget, then I'm seeing it for like anywhere between $12 and $15 on China sites. I was like, what? Yeah, I couldn't believe how cheap the RDA is. So it's a cheaply priced RDA for people that are on a budget. That's the way I see it. But if, like I said, if you have the drop of the dead rabbit, no reason to get this because those two RDAs outshine this RDA big time. All right, so that was the Poison RDA. In the description below, there'll be no links to vape products because I'm not allowed. That's YouTube policy. Thus, my links down below, as always. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. And remember, keep on vaping.